different approaches to color analysis, whether it's seasonal color analysis or tonal approaches and things like this, the methods taught at Sterling is much easier for the consultant to use to very quickly analyze and understand people, their colorations and what clothing colors would look good on them. Mm -hmm. And can you just explain a little bit more about your background that led you to say that versus using? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I had a, a painting business when I was younger and knew quite a bit about architectural paint coatings. And that approaches color from a very scientific, objective point of view where you're going to write a specification. And this color has to be the same today as it is tomorrow, the same in America as it is in Europe. And uh, some other color consultants have very metaphorical ways of understanding and communicating color experiences, which that's valid and it's important to understand the uh, emotional, personal experience of color. But having an objective approach uh, just cuts through a lot of confusion very quickly and lets you communicate clearly to your clients. Right. So you're saying the color analysis or seasonal colors was good for the consultant to learn or no for the client I, I think yeah sure so it's it's like a simplifying explanation or uh it's called a heuristic right it's like a, an analogy uh a metaphor used to understand something complicated and these show up all over in life right like personality types you know you might be uh and, and it, believe it or not uh, i think uh kegel in in talking about her seasonal color analysis even said you know you could call it an a a b a c or a d this whole summer winter spring fall is kind of a metaphor to to get the client to understand something in a simple way uh and it's really not even for her, what she was teaching her students to do, it just kind of in the 70s, and 80s seems to me like it got muddied and people are taking these metaphors too literally and having a, a more objective approach seems to add a lot of value, which is why I came here. Great. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> You're welcome. I